Hi, thank you for joining me to listen to my talk today. My name is Nathan Fox. I'm a PhD student at the University of Southampton in the United Kingdom, and I'm looking at using social media uh, data to understand how geodiversity uh, influences ecosystem services, in particular recreational ecosystem services. And today I'm going to present to you an R package we have made uh, that makes accessing data from Flickr easy for cultural ecosystem service assessments. I'd like to thank my uh, collaborators as well as my funders, the UK RI and the UK CEH. So for those of you that aren't familiar, Flickr is a video and photograph hosting website that is particularly popular in Europe as well as America and the rest of the world. And it has up to 25 million new uploads each and every day. And it also has a wider diverse user base than most other social media sites. Photographs uploaded to Flickr can contain uh, spatial data, including the latitude and longitude at which the images were taken, as well as the temporal information related to the date and time that the images were taken. Now, the owners of the Flickr platform are very welcome for people to use their data for uh, research and other business prospects, and therefore they've made all of the data available for free through what's called the Flickr Application Programming Interface, or API. And this is accessed through a range of coding languages, including Python, Java, and R. Now, accessing data in this way overcomes many of the limitations of extensive large-scale social and ecological surveys. And by that, I mean Flickr, uh, getting data from Flickr is extremely easy. It's uh, time, it's really quick and inexpensive. So I came into this project from an environmental science background and had no knowledge of coding. And therefore, getting these sorts of data sets was quite difficult. So along with my collaborators and supervisors, we decided that it would be best to make a simple method of accessing data and enable other people like myself to be able to go in and just easily access data that they wouldn't have been able to otherwise. So to do this, we created the photo search R package. Now, the code for this has been peer reviewed by people at the uh, R Open Sci organization. It's an organization that is designed to peer review uh, scientific code and make it uh, open to public and researchers. From this, we have also published a manuscript in SoftwareX last month, and this is now available uh, freely as well. And so we designed the Flickr R package to overcome some of the limitations of the Flickr API, which I'll talk about now. So when you search Flickr for images, you search via coding terms and you'll build up a list of criteria and then it will return all of the images that match your criteria. Now, accessibility of this to non-data scientists is limited. As I said, you need very advanced coding skills. With the photo search for our package, however, we've provided a relatively simple method and all of the methods used in the photo search package are accompanied by a user guide that has examples that are able to be copied and edited to your to your use. Um, another limitation with using Flickr data is studies often don't share or reproduce their code. So it makes it very difficult for me to go and take someone else's study and do the similar thing without having to spend a lot of work write, rewriting the code from scratch. However, with the photo search or our package, our methods are easily shareable and reproducible. From just copying and pasting one or two lines of code, you can reproduce the same me method that I would have used. One of the biggest limitations with Flickr is that no matter what you search for, it will re return a maximum of 4,000 unique images per search. For example, if you're looking for images of trees at a global scale, there could be hundreds of thousands, even millions of photographs. And it will say that you've returned that many photographs, but actually what the Flickr API is doing is it's returning 4,000 unique images and replicating those 4,000 data points over and over again. To overcome this, the Flickr, the Photo Search R package dynamically, dynamically splits your requests into smaller searches and helps to overcome the 4,000 limit by returning all of the data that matches your criteria. Finally, currently using the Flickr API, you can't search for images in a study site if you have a shapefile. However, we've provided a function that allows you just to provide a shapefile and return images within it. 
Some of the users for this sort of data uh, from Flickr using the photo setter R, R package are in particular assessing cultural ecosystem services. So this has been used to look at recreational services uh, such as wildlife watching. You can also use the temporal metadata to assess changes in cultural values. And you can also use the spatial data to assess visitation rates in protected areas, national parks, and local scale nature reserves. Furthermore, we also have shown that the species distribution data can be obtained from Flickr, and this can be used for identifying floral species, uh, monitoring migratory and hibernation patterns, as well as tracking the spread of invasive species or looking at niche segregation. Now, some of the, uh, several of these uh, papers actually used early uh, releases of PhotoSearcher to get the data used in their analysis. Finally, I'd just like to show you a quick example of how this sort of data can be used. So here is an example that I am particularly interested in. So this is the Angle CGO Park in Wales, which has a high uh, geodiversity. And therefore, I'm interested in how people are inter interacting with this geodiversity. Now, all I've done here is I've put into my R code a minimum date that I'm looking for, the maximum date I'm looking for, and then just the area that we're looking for. And what this does is it sends all this data off to the Flickr API and returns a data frame with all of these photographs in it. And this is a relatively simple method. As you can see, it's just three lines of code. You could copy and paste that into R yourself and get that exact, the exact same data I have. And it's a relatively quick method. We've got thousands of data points in just a few minutes. I'd like to thank you for listening and I welcome any questions. And if you have any ideas for collaborations, I'm also interested to hear from you. Thank you. Hey, Nathan. Hi there. Thanks for presenting for us. It's really interesting work you're doing. Thanks for um, having me. Yeah, for sure. All right, so I've got a couple questions for you. The okay. first one is, what is your opinion on the reliability of Flickr for scientific viability and policy decisions? Decision, sorry. So as with all different social media platforms, the data from it uh, does have some limitations. And I think those limitations need to be uh, acknowledged when you are making decisions based on any analysis. So for example, there are certain biases towards certain user groups, such as older middle-aged white people. And therefore, using it for really in-depth policy decisions might be a step too far, but using it for certain uh, analysis and basic, uh, yeah, those sorts of things would be great. Okay. All right. And another question is, have you considered how to extrapolate your code to include non-Flickr users? Yeah, so I'm actually currently working on including two other social media sites into the R package, so Tumblr and Reddit, because as with Flickr, they are both uh, open access to researchers. Things like Flickr and uh, uh, Instagram and Facebook are closed off because of who owns them and they're not willing to share data. Yeah, okay. Okay, perfect. Well, um, what's your next step in your research? So I'm now going to use this to look at all of recreation in Wales and see how people are interacting with the physical environment and how that supplies uh, recreational services. Okay, perfect. Well, we look forward to hearing more from you on your project development and everything. Thank you again for being here with us. Um, if we Thank get you. any questions in for you, we'll email you. Okay, perfect. Thank you. All right. Thank you.